Target family, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some marble and copper DIYs using mainly Dollar Tree products. There is, however, one item that I made that's not using Dollar Tree products just because I think it's cheaper to buy it already done as a whole than it is to make it out of Dollar Tree products. If you're new to my channel or just haven't been keeping up, I made this vanity desk behind me a couple of videos ago and basically I'm just putting my vanity together. I do have some so I got this all set up and on the right of me I have a Dollar Tree marble organizer and then I also have this Ikea shelf that I made look golden marble. So I wanted to add some marble pieces to my vanity to tie this all in. I didn't want it to be just gold, I wanted to add a little bit more copper and rose gold. So I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little marble pieces behind me. Obviously you can use whatever color you like. I love how everything came out. My personal favorite though is the vanity but the flower vase comes in close second. Let me know your favorite down in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. As always if you do please give it a thumbs up let's see if we can get this video to 3,000 likes let me know that you guys want to see more of these room decor videos and vanity decor videos again I hope you guys enjoy the video now let's begin let's start this off with the vase so I got this glass vase from Dollar Tree they carry so many different kinds I just got this long cylinder one and what I'm doing is I'm taking painters tape and I'm wrapping it around the top portion of the vase so I'm just gonna end up painting the bottom portion to paint the glass I'm using rust-oleum's copper spray paint. Initially my plan was to put the marble paper inside of the vase. That's why I put the painter's tape. I wanted a crisp line but eventually I decided I liked the way that it looked more on the outside of the vase so if you end up putting your contact paper on the outside of the vase you don't really have to put painter's tape because the contact paper will end up making that nice line for you. The contact paper I'm using for all of these projects is from Duct and I got it at Menards which is a hardware store here in the Midwest. If you can't find it at your local hardware store you can find it online and you can find it on Amazon. Now I just filled this up with some flowers I got at Dollar Tree. I'm using some baby's breath flowers and white roses. Moving on to this vanity tray. Now I got this wooden vanity tray with a mirror in the inside from Target for $5 in their spot section. I'm deciding to use this first of all because it's much better quality than if I'd made anything from Dollar Tree because they don't carry real wood and also if I got all the supplies to make this from Dollar Tree it's gonna cost me more than five dollars especially to get that depth that's in the vanity tray so I figured I'd buy something that was already made up and it's real wood so what I'm doing is I'm just placing some painters tape around the edges of the mirror and the wood because I don't want to get paint on there there was some paint that ended up seeping through and if that happens to you all you have to do is use some nail polish remover to remove the paint from the mirror. I started off painting this with my rose gold metallic paint from Martha Stewart. The thing was it was way too sheer. I knew that I would have to apply a lot of it and wait for so many layers to dry until this thing turned opaque. So I ended up mixing some of Martha Stewart's copper metallic paint in with the rose gold paint and I created this really pretty color. It leans a little bit more toward copper but in different lighting and different angles you can really see the rose gold. It took three layers of paint to get this looking the way that I wanted it to look. To paint I'm actually just using a makeup sponge. I really like using makeup sponges to paint mainly because it doesn't leave as many streaks behind as a paintbrush does. So after the paint dries I go ahead and add my marble trimming. I cut off strips that were just a little under an inch and then I just place them on top of the wood. I decided to add this to just the bottom of the tray. You can put it in the center of the tray, at the top of the tray, cover the entire thing in marble paper. It's up to you. And that's how I made this vanity tray. So easy to do I tell y'all. Moving on to these marble brush holders. From Dollar Tree you're going to get one of these glasses that have white at the bottom. They also have them in black which would go well with the marble. Then they have them in blue and purple but I don't think they would look right with the marble. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your marble contact paper and just stick it at the bottom of the glass. That is it. It looks really nice, makes your vanity look extra expensive and it's really simple to do. I told you all these were going to be really easy. Now moving on to these marble makeup brushes. You could use some old makeup brushes you have. If you don't have any makeup brushes, Dollar Tree does carry makeup brushes and I prefer the wet and wild brushes for this just because they have a white handle. So all you're going to do is you're going to cut out strips of your contact paper and you're going to wrap it around the bottom of your makeup brush. If your makeup brush tapers at the bottom you don't want to place any contact paper all the way down there otherwise it's going to look really ugly because the contact paper is going to be all neat at the top and then at the bottom it's just going to like bunch up there. 
So it's better just to cut your pieces of contact paper to stop right before your brush starts to taper. So what you do is you just place the contact paper on top of the handle. These wet and wild brushes do have a nice guide of where you should place your contact paper. That's because the top of the brush is separate from the actual handle. So there's this like little edge, like a line that you can just put the contact paper in and make sure that you're getting a straight line up there. You want to cut just enough contact paper where it would overlap. That way it doesn't fall off of the brush so easily. You also don't want to overcut too much where there will be too much contact paper and then it's going to make the handle thick. So you can always use your scissors to get rid of that excess contact paper. You can do this to any makeup brushes that you own. When you're washing your brushes, you want to be gentle though with the contact paper. You don't want to end up making it too soggy or messing with the adhesive. At the same time, you're going to have a lot of contact paper left over so you can always just take off the contact paper and redo it. So that's it for these marble brushes. Moving on to another easy DIY and it's just a lipstick makeup organizer. And honestly, all I did was buy a clear acrylic one from Dollar Tree. I then go ahead and spray paint it with my copper spray paint from Rustoli. Now I go ahead and add my contact paper. For this, I just cut an inch strip and I placed four different strips all over this. I didn't want to use one continuous strip because again, you will experience bubbling. And that's because of the rounded edges on here. Now you don't have to do as thick of a strip as I did. You can make it thinner. Again, you can put it in the center at the top of it. That's up to you. It's just all about personal preference. This specific makeup organizer holds more than just lipsticks. It holds a few of my foundations and my mascaras. You don't have to limit it to just lipstick. That's it for this makeup organizer. Now moving on to these marble pictures. Again, this is just very easy. All you're gonna get from Dollar Tree are these 11 by 14 inches picture frames. So they're the biggest ones that they carry and I think this looks better with a bigger frame. Now Dollar Tree does carry a gold one of these but when I went I couldn't find it. I could only find it in silver and in black. In silver it does look nice. It's just the scheme of what I'm trying to do is not silver so I just go ahead and I paint these copper. I will say spray paint adheres so much better to this than just a regular acrylic paint. You have to do a lot of layers till it looks opaque. Once I've got my frames all painted, I go ahead and I take that glass piece that came with the frame and I apply contact paper right over it. It's easy to cut this out, the measurements for it, just because the frame is already 11 by 14 inches. So yeah, it's easy to figure that one out. I go ahead, put that over the glass and use my hand to smooth out any air bubbles. You can use a credit card if you like, um, just something with a hard edge. I usually just use my hand and it works. I then place that piece of glass into the frame and I go ahead and put that cardboard backing that it comes with in there just because I need that backing to hang the pictures. And that's all I did for these picture frames. I told you guys, all of these DIYs are so easy, but it glams up the area so much. Like, I love the way that it looks so you much. You can always switch this out with different colors. You can use a different type of contact paper. You can use a bigger picture frame. That's up to you. That's up to what your budget is. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Helps my channel out a lot. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.